Welcome to Afterlife Reborn SMP, an SMP inspired by the popular series Afterlife. The rules are the same, we have 10 lives and every time we die, we start off with a new origin. In today's video, I tackle two strange origins. If you're into Afterlife SMP content, stick around to the end of the video. But guys, I'm slowly approaching 3,000 subscribers and if you can make my goal and help me reach it, then that would be great. I would really, really appreciate it. So, it's time to start our journey on the SMP. But before I do that, I want to explain my origin. I am a drowned, which means that I cannot go out of water unless it's nighttime. My active ability lets me bypass the restrictions of channeling and riptide. But I do lose hunger quickly and I am a carnivore. So I have got one of the harder origins and you guys will see the troubles that I had to face on the server. But let's start our day one journey. So I literally, oh yeah, I literally oh, cannot do anything. Like I need to be in water at all times. We need night time. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm burning. In water. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, what the heck? So I began swimming, adapting to my surroundings, figuring out what I could do until I found this area. Is anyone living here? Cause I actually might take this spot. I mean, how am I gonna go caving? I'm gonna have to do like underwater ravines and stuff, underwater. right? I'll say underwater caving. Hello? Oh my gosh, hi. Hi, hi tell me. you guys, I'm coming over. Oh my gosh, guess what? Okay, I'm, I'm a drowned, I cannot go out of What's water. The drowned. Oh my god, hi! Hi! Oh! Oh, what? Wait, what? What? Oh my god! Oh my god! That was an eel, wasn't it? How many hearts do you That was an eel. That was an eel. Yeah. So it approached my first night time on the server, and I thought, you know what? I need to try and get it hid. I need to try and get some resources, um, get some materials. For my buildings that I want to do, my underwater builds. So I went out and I did some caving. I got I got a few resources. I didn't get much because it was very limited. Um, and then I also created this tree axe and I went around and I chopped down lots of trees so I can get some wood for my underwater base. Okay everyone, it's time for me to give you a little bit of a base tour. I built this like nice little shipwreck. I don't know, I just, I kind of wanted to build it to make sort of like a memory of our time as a drowned. Um, I've got some like, just some decorations here, lots of like weird random stuff. But I want to head over to a sea temple because guardians don't attack me. And I know uh, my friends have told me that there is a uh, sea temple somewhere. I want to get the most out of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to that sea temple and I am going to farm prismarine because I was thinking about setting up a shop but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I might as well get it while I can because it's gonna be excuse you because uh, it's gonna be so hard to get it when um, I'm not a drowned. So it was time to embark on my dangerous journey to the sea temple. And on my way, I stumbled into my friend's house and saw something quite interesting. What is going on over here? <laughs> what? <laughs> then I went off on boat and on land, surprisingly. I don't know why I wasn't burning in my boat, but I finally made it to the sea temple. 
and I started off by killing all the three Elder Guardians. And once I did that, I was able to um, start mining all the Prismarine because there was no Elder Guardian to give me Miner Fatigue. And once I got enough, I decided it was time to head home and I got into an interesting conversation about death. Bubbly, are you just gonna get death over with soon? Um, I will kill myself, but no one's come to me with a creative offer. As soon as they do, then I'll... A creative option to kill yourself? Oh, hi, bro. Oh, wait. I had the best idea. So, bro, here's the thing. Bro, here's the thing. Bubbly. I'm doing a competition. Whoever can come up with the most creative death. Um, creative then, death? Yeah, creative death. They get to kill me with their death that they chose. Great idea. Bro, I've had yeah. this idea set in my mind for a long time, and it's going to be Life of Bubbly, where it's basically just going to be you falling down a hole, and you get to see, like, your whole life up to this moment. <gasps> that is so lovely. I bet you it's going to be nothing. Do you, <laughs> you want to hear mine? <laughs> it's going to be nothing. <laughs> it's going to be just a shipwreck and a... And a little fake version of a, a guardian thing. Do you want to hear my idea? Okay, go bro. Yeah. Build, uh, so I would build like a little sand pyramid. How do you stand directly in the middle? No, no, then after look, I finish look. building the pyramid, I drop all of it on you and suffocate you. Oh my die. god. Sounds cold. Bubbly, so, so, what I think you should do. Oh, are we okay? Bro, so, no, I don't think she is, but. Uh, cool. Bubbly, are you a drown? Are, yes. you, are you still drowned? Yes. We should do the original idea we had. What was that? What was and the original? Wait, what water water original water. idea to kill me? Uh, no. Oh my god, how did I get to just surround your lake in lava? Lake you? And then pour it on you. What? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, so we're approaching that time in the episode. I decided that, you know what, my life as a drowned has reached its end. It's, it's really, really hard to live as a drowned and I felt like I did everything that I could do. So my friend Tommy Sora set up a trap to kill me and Madison. And here's our last words. Um, hopefully I get a good origin. That's, yeah, that's what I have to say. Oh. Uh. Um, <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I got Strider. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 water kills me. Oh my gosh, that's the like the complete opposite to what I've just had. So, I am a strider, which means I am immune to all types of fire damage. Um, I will naturally spawn in the nether, <laughs> and um, I will receive damage while I'm in contact with water, if we've just realized. And I have the ability- Oh, I have the ability to walk on lava, and other players can ride me. <laughs> oh, wow. And um, you can eat warp fungus to recover some hunger along with a small speed boost. Wow, this is very interesting. Uh, here's my home, my lovely, lovely home, which I cannot go to because uh, I'm a strider. Can someone please help me get my stuff? It's all underwater and I'm a strider so I can't go underwater. <laughs> Luckily, my friend Luki managed to retrieve all my stuff underwater, so I had everything back in my inventory. And then I went and did some exploring underground, and I found this really cool blue deep slate cave. It was really cool, and it was definitely something um, that was one of the highlights in this mod pack. There was like a lot of weird stuff. So, I'm taking on a bit of a risk, and I'm deciding to go into the nether because... I am a strider and I thought it'd be cool to live out um, the whole of my life as a strider in the nether as, you know, that is my home, I guess. But little did I know that the troubles that I had to face, uh, I had a lot of encounters with different blazers, with the skeletons, it was a mess. I was, I was trying to navigate myself, I was also trying not to die. Um, I made a pretty good clutch here, I decided, you know what, I am a strider so I can jump in lava. 
So I jumped in lava and I started to traverse around the nether because I wanted to find a nice spot where I could set up a potential base. I found this really cool wood. It was called willow wood. It was red. It was really cool. Um, I've never really played with modded woods before, so this was quite interesting to get to play with that. Okay, so I'm decided, I've decided to settle on this island here and start and I started um, excavating some of the land and getting it ready to build my house. Now, I went one step further and I decided to build the front of the house first. Um, I forgot to show it on, on, I forgot to record it, so unfortunately you only see the front of it, but that is, it is what it is. But I think it's a really cute build. I love how I used all the, um, the warped blocks because I really like it. And now we're into a time lapse of me building the rest of this base. So I went for, um, as you can see, a warped theme, very on brand for bubbly. Um, I decided to use this uh, bench, which allowed me to change the texture of warped planks, which was super cool. It was really fun getting to play with, with that. Okay, now we're inside, we're doing the interior of the house. I wanted to go for a more simplistic design, uh, judging I didn't have a lot of materials, as you can see. Um, I had to sort of work what I got. I did one trip back to the other one to pick up some stuff, some food. I even upgraded my pickaxe and axe to Cincinnati, which is this new ore that you can find in the nether. It's really, really cool. Um, it's better than diamond, but it's it's got this really cool gold texture and it makes it look really good in my inventory. And now I decided I've got a house now. I need to explore. I want to explore some of this nether. I came across this flower monster in here. It was terrifying, and I don't want to go near it at all. Okay, and while I was on my journey, I had to go through all these different biomes. They were really hard to get through. This one had all of these purple brain things. It was really hard to traverse, but luckily, um, because there was lots of lava pouches everywhere, I wasn't taking any damage to lava, which was great. The one time where I'm happy in the nether, this is when everything started to go pear-shaped. Um, I came across these wither skeletons, and I've fought them before, I've killed them, but I didn't realize the quantity of them. There was not one, not two, but three skeletons. And me thinking I could kill it, and seeing that I was on one heart, I ran, and I died. And that was my life as... Australia. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of cool content planned after I feel better. So please subscribe and you will not miss any new awesome content. I'm just going to give you a little like heads up on some content that you may see if you continue subscribing. You may see an MCC video, a Base Invaders Pride themed and also me joining a brand new SMP called Mystic SMP. It's all about magic and it's really, really cool. But thank you all for watching. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.